Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you 10 must have settings within the SAP GUI after getting a new SAP GUI installation, after getting a new SAP system, especially quite useful for SAP consultants, but also for SAP users working a lot with the SAP GUI because there are a lot of useful functions that can help you in your daily work with the SAP system. So what I can recommend is to create a shortcut first of all because normally if you would like to log into your SAP system you have to enter your client, your username, the password and maybe you have to change the login language. And within the SAP GUI, after logging in the first time, here within the toolbar, you have the button to generate a shortcut. If you click there, then basically you can enter a title, what you want to, a type, transaction, that's perfectly fine, session manager. Here you can specify your system. And within here, you can specify the client, the user, and the language, and where you would like to save it. Then basically um, click on finish. Then here you can see that the shortcut shortcut has been created that's okay perfectly fine and if you are on the location where your shortcut has been created you double click your so you execute it then you will be logged in if i log off then you can see directly the effect so here you can see the login screen so here you can type in your password and then you are logged into the SAP system. So th therefore it will fasten up the login process. What you also have to do is here we can see a so-called area menu where a lot of quite useful transactions are listed and grouped together based on one category. And here in the beginning, you can see a transaction code. If for you that's not the case, then under extras and settings, there you can select the setting display by technical names to show the transaction code upfront within the node so that you can also see what kind of transaction code will be executed that you can learn the transaction codes and that you can also execute the transaction code within the OK code within the command field. Then within extras, within here, you can set up a start transaction. So here, for example, if you are working a lot with one transaction, that is your most important transaction code within your SAP system, um, then you can also type in the um, start transaction. So you just simply have to type in the transaction code. If you, for example, are using a transaction code within the namespace, so for example, um, the transaction code to, um, to start SAP Fiori Launchpad out of the SAP, SAP GUI, then you don't have to put an uh, slash n up front. So just put the name space um, and the transaction code itself within this field, um, hit the enter key or this continue button. And then um, the next time you will log into the SAP system directly, this transaction will be started. If you would like to change it, then under extras set start transaction, you can remove it, you can change it, hit the enter key, then you have your start transaction. So let's show this. So I will enter the Miro, then I will log off from here and then let's log in once again and then you can directly see the Miro has been started. As you might have uh, seen or as I have explained you at the beginning after logging in you can see a so-called area menu and in this case this is the default area menu so the S000 area menu. If you would like to get to know more about area menus, I have produced an own video explaining you what area menus are, what the functionalities are there behind, how you can create an own one and so on. But basically area menus are so useful because um, yeah, there are the most important transactions regarding one area grouped. So if you would like to work with EDI, with IDOCs, if you're working with SAP MM within um, SAP FI, whatever with some uh, area and you would like to work with a couple of transactions, then you can also set up a default area menu because by default, the S000 will be shown and within the transaction code SU. 
three, you can open up the um, user profile and under defaults within here, you can set up a start menu. And for example, just simply um, enter the ME00 control S to save the settings. And then the next time, if we open up the start uh, menu, here we can see our start transaction. But if we go back, then you can see you now the ME00, so the purchasing area menu will be shown. And here you have all the most important transactions regarding purchasing within here. So if you're not working with a start menu, this can be quite useful because as you, as you might have seen, um, first of all, the start menu will be shown and not the area menu itself. So erase this and then let's go back to the start menu. Then you can see the default area menu. If you would like to change it back, let's simply go into the SU3, defaults, erase it, control S, and then you have within here your S000, your default area, once again back, or another one. Then within the SAP GUI options, you have also a lot of possibility to customize your SAP GUI. And um, you can open up the SAP GUI options uh, after logging in with the button customize local layout and then simply um, execute options or within your SAP logon in the top left area. There you click there with your left mouse button and then you choose options. And here basically with an SAP GUI options, you have so many possibilities to change, but the must have settings are in my case, a theme. And I personally, as you can might have, uh, might see, um, the, I used the SAP signature theme. Um, I think by default, the Bolivia theme um, is one default theme because it is more SAP Fiori-like. Um, I personally don't like it. It's my personal opinion. And if you would like change it, you ha can um, yeah, select uh, within a drop down. Then you can, for example, if we have Bolivia theme, then click on apply. Uh, okay. And then you can restart your SAP logon. So therefore, um, just um, yeah, close the SAP logon. And then here you can directly see um, the SAP belief theme. Um, and if we open up the SAP GUI shortcut, um, logging into your system, then you can see that now the SAP belief theme is being used. Um, to change it back, as mentioned, um, I'll use um, yeah, the SAP signature theme. Just um, change it back, click on apply, okay. Close this for a second, and then you have your um, theme back. So yeah, play around. Um, just try it out, use the theme you, you like most, but be a little bit careful because depending on your theme, the, um, the status bar will be put onto another position. Um, uh, the buttons look a little bit different. So yeah, depending on your style, your preferences, you can use it. Um, then here are another um, settings, but I think the color settings are also quite useful. If you go after logging into your SAP system to customize local layout and then options, you can also specify um, your color based on your SAP system. Here you can specify the color for in general. So if you, for example, would put like with the gold, the green, the purple, the red version, uh, or defining one own color, this can be done within here. So as mentioned, logging in once again, to show you also that you can under customize local layout options, and then visual design, here you have also colors in system. And then for example, if you would like to work uh, with one system or with one system and client, then you can, for example, specify the red one if you're working with a productive version. And um, that is what you should do and I recommend to um, do. So then let's go to interaction design and visualization one. Of course, 
as mentioned you can click to the other settings they're really useful but what i can recommend is to show the OK code field. So um, choose show OK code field because if the setting is not um, set, let's log in once again or to show this. Here is the OK code field. Of course, you can also hide the OK code field, but um, I think the OK code field is the input field within the SAP GUI because therefore you can um, enter different transaction codes like the Miro, for example, like the SE16N. Um, as mentioned, the SU3, you can move really quickly to other transactions codes by just knowing the transaction code itself. And therefore, um, yeah, show OK code field should be set because otherwise the OK code field is not there and you don't have the ability to use the transaction codes within the SAP GUI. Then what you also should definitely set up is show keys within drop down lists. And you can also sort them if you want to, um, because um, I have already set this up. I will go, for example, to the ME23N to display purchase orders. And here you have the order type. And at front, for example, DB, EMB, EUB, FO, NB, and so on are the keys for the order type, so the primary key. And if um, you have not set the setting show keys within drop down list, then just the description will be shown. And yeah, I think for most cases, if, especially here in the ME23N, the description is perfectly fine. But I personally really would like to work with the real value with the primary key and therefore I know what the primary key is. Really useful and you should also um, set this setting up. Then what is what is really annoying, especially working with the SAP GUI, is the sound. <laughs> uh, if I hear the sound after clicking, yeah, it can make you really frustrating. Um, so I deactivate always the sound um, if you like the sound you can also click activate sound feedback um, your s sound scheme what you like to you can um, yeah um, use own sound files if you want to um, but i don't use the sound i always deactivate the sound working with the sap gui then last but not least what is really important within local data and then history to set up the maximum characters for a history field up to 255. I made an own video about uh, all the settings within the history and how what kind of settings you have um, depending on one input field but um, it there are some input fields um, that can save up to 255 characters because this is the maximum um, length for characters for input fields within SAP GUI. And if you have not set this to 255, then maybe some information are just cut off and won't be saved into the history. Of course, this can uh, blow up your history file, depending what you like to but in my case i really would like to have all the data that is being that i have used within the history files but this is also one setting i always do and those are, in my opinion, the 10 must-have settings within the SAP GUI after having a new SAP GUI installation or you know one must-have setting you have not yet set, so you can change this. And I can also recommend that you have a look closer look within the SAP GUI option as you can see based on the tree structure there are so many SAP GUI options you can make especially for as mentioned the visual design you can also change the font the branding to specify a a picture um, yeah you can as you like to work you can also change the keyboard setting visual design and so there's so many options you can make and i can recommend to have a closer look into this and yeah by satis thank you so much for watching if you have any questions left put them in the comment section see you in the next video